Greetings, and welcome to episode 39. In today's episode, we'll be discussing spiritual competition, and how it's not really supposed to be a competition. <laughs> also, I'd like to mention that there will be no episode for tomorrow. I might make a side notes video, but those are usually only 10 minutes or so. But don't expect anything for tomorrow, because tomorrow is Christmas. But if you do get something, Merry Christmas. <laughs> now, if we're ready, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, spiritual competition. The reason I'm making this video is because I've noticed through all the the other videos of of people teaching, uh, conveying knowledge or experience of some sort of whatever. If you read the comments, people tend to treat it like that person is a sports team, and they're in competition with every other teacher. And I'm not saying that the teacher themselves, his or herself, is responsible for this. But the people that follow kind of treat it that way. And you get the sense that they believe that, well, your your life is in our hands because if we don't believe in you, then, then you're nothing. And it puts the teacher in a state where they kind of get into the spirit of the competition kind of <laughs> or maybe they start out that way I don't know but it's come to my attention through whatever means some of it is reading reading the comments in the video some of its watching the videos I've watched videos of some spiritual teachers bashing other spiritual teachers and it just yeah I just want to get it out there right now that it's spirituality is not a competition it's not a team sport it's not a team event if you don't think I have anything valuable to say move along your patronage is not necessary I don't monetize my videos I say that a lot and I would monetize my videos I'm not against it I just don't at this point so my financial security doesn't depend on you watching at all in any way shape or form also if you don't believe in what I have to say that doesn't matter either I'm speaking from life experience you don't have to believe in me it happened the way it happened whether or not you believe me whether or not you even exist <laughs> my life happened the way it happened you don't have to believe in trees to see them out there <laughs> I don't need validation that's not why I'm doing this there are people that need help and guidance and this particular type of information and I've decided that I should be one of the people providing the information if you don't like me or my information move along it's not a sports team I'm not looking for fans if you found someone better or you already are in line with someone better and then you find my video and you decide you want to go in the comments and bash me just keep it to yourself keep it to yourself because I'll just b block and ban you anyway not because I don't value other people's input but because it's not a competition and I don't want you putting the spirit of competition into the comments because I don't want anybody sticking up for me not because I don't want people bashing me but because I don't want people sticking up for me because odds are they only know as much as I've told them in these videos so they don't really know me so for them to stick up for me is just as asinine as you bashing me because you already are in line with another teacher. 
<laughs> it's not a competition. It's not me against you. You're a teacher. You teach differently than me. If you've come to watch this video because you are a teacher and you'd like to see what I have to offer, if it's anything like you have to offer or better or worse or whatever, not a competition. I am not in competition with you. I refuse to be in competition with you. I don't care how many views you get. I don't even really care how many views I get. I had an idea. I was moved to do this. I'm doing it. Whether or not you like it or not, it, it does not affect me and what I'm doing one way or the other. If you think you do it better, by all means, go do it better. But it's not a competition. I'm not going to look at somebody else's video and say, Oh, wow, they do it so much better. Do what? Give out information based on their path, based on their life experience? There's no... you. Who's going to be better at doing that than you? I can't give out information about your life better than you can. Unless, of course, you are incapable of speaking. So, if you come to my channel and say, well, I, I could do it better. I guarantee you, you cannot convey my life story better than I can. I guarantee it. <laughs> You're not going to convey my experiences better than I can. You just, you cannot do it. It, impossible I don't need fans or followers I want people that are interested in gathering information <coughs> and if you're interested in gathering information by all means come by get some information and I, and I understand that not all of the information I have to offer is going to be valid for your journey but you are under no obligation to stay here and get your information. I would appreciate it. I mean, I, it, it makes me feel like I'm being helpful when people learn something from me. But if you're not in a position where you want to learn something from me, move along. If I have nothing to offer you, don't stick around and bash me. I'm not going to come to your channel and bash you. Even though you might not have anything to offer me. You know what happens when I click on someone's video? And I decide that they don't have anything to offer me? I quietly excuse myself from the room. And keep my opinions to myself. Because that person is teaching along their lines. Along their path. And based on their life experience. So I don't have the right to bash one way or another. The only thing I could really get on them for, and the only thing anyone could really get on me for, is the quality of the video, the actual production quality, or the music I use, or the music they use. Those are the only things you could actually judge that you could do better. And granted, I have probably some of the crappiest equipment <laughs> that anyone has ever used on YouTube, but I'm not looking for high quality videos and not because well I'm not monetizing why should I make quality videos not not because of that I want the content to stand out more than the production quality more than the music I use the music I chose was for a specific reason and I kinda like the production quality it makes it look more down to earth in my opinion that it's not about the money I spend to get it out there it's about the information I'm trying to present. And anyone else, well, I can do it better. By all means, go do it better. You may even get me to come check it out. But it doesn't mean we're in competition with one another. You'll never get me to feel bad because of your show or your channel or any one particular episode you have. Oh, he's, he's ripping me off. He's talking about the same thing I talked about two weeks ago. Could be because we have been through similar experiences, and I'm conveying my take on this experience. But bear in mind that the teachers I follow and watch are not, how do I put this? They're not in the YouTube mainstream of the teachers to watch. I stopped watching people's videos when I started making my own 
just so I didn't come across as being in competition. Just so I didn't come across as uh, a copycat. Because I don't want someone to say, well, I saw this. You made your video two days after so-and-so made their video. And, uh, well, coincidence. Synchronicity. Call it whatever you want. Some people get their ideas going around watching other people's videos. But see, they're in competition for views. Because some people, this is, this is their bread and butter. So in that sense, I could kind of see the competition. But it it's not a competition. And the minute you let it devolve into a competition, you kill the message. You kill the message because now you're looking for followers. Now you're looking for, for fans. And that's not what it's about because fans are always beneath the players because the players are the ones that are the important ones out in the field doing the job and blah, 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 blah. And really, the reason why I want my videos to be more down to earth is so you know that we're on... We may be at different levels as it concerns our particular journey, but we are all flesh and blood humans, and we are all the same, and we are all equal. And it just seems to me that it is in my best interest to convey that more than it is to convey that I can do it better than so-and-so. In any way. I would love to get more attention, more views on here, but not for the money-making aspect. <clears throat> if I had 50,000 views per episode on a daily basis, ooh, excuse me, I still probably would not monetize my videos because it's not about making money. Now, if I decided that this is what I want to do for a living, I would go out of my way to raise the quality of the videos, have better, way better production quality, I'd have way better equipment, because if I'm trying to make money at this, I'm at least going to uh, try to present to you a product I would think would be worth money. And it wouldn't be the. It would no longer be about the information. The information would be a bonus to having something kick ass to watch. <laughs> but since I'm more interested in conveying a message, I'm not really worried about how you see me or the quality of the video or even the sound, and except for the sound of my voice. <laughs> So, keep that in mind if you've only come to see how good my videos are. Keep that in mind if you've come to see if you're going to bash me. Keep that in mind to see if you're going to uh, make a video that's exactly like one of mine. Because you have to bear in mind, it'll never be exactly like one of mine. Because you didn't live my life. You don't have my point of view. And if you have taken and you copy my my video word for word and then speak those same words into a camera, at least the message is still getting out. And that speaks volumes to who you are. That you would try to steal somebody else's life and put it out as though you lived it. Spirituality is not a competition. <laughs> It's not like religion. <laughs> no, I kid, I kid. <laughs> We're not competing with the Jews and Muslims for the dollar. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, too funny to leave it alone. <laughs> but seriously, I am more concerned with elevating your level of consciousness. Letting you see that there's more to, to look for look more to look forward to more to look into there's more to discover there are wonders and miracles right here you don't have to wait to pass on to the next realm you don't have to wait for such and such to return to, to, to free the people or whatever 
it's right here right now and I'm trying to get you put on a path so that you can learn how to do it yourself so you don't have to come back and watch me unless you like me when I watch a teacher it's not to get new information it's to get a different perspective on information I already have or to reinforce ideas I already have because I might already see it in this, along the same lines as the teacher I'm watching so then it's this there to reinforce how I already feel and this is exactly what this is for you could just be sitting there right on you know I, I think the same way I see the same thing going on and blah 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 whatever that's what it's there for to help you reinforce your ideas or to present you with a new perspective or to present you with a brand new idea because let's not forget some people are new to the path they're just starting out and I'm not trying to scare people off with this with the spirit of competition when spirituality isn't a competition we are all going to die one day and that is to say one day these fleshy bodies will stop working hopefully not all on the same day <laughs> but when this occurs we'll all end up in the same place we're all going to the same place there's not a competition it's not a race to see who can get there it never was a race but when you add that spirit of competition some people feel like well I'm behind it's not a competition it's no more a competition between me and other teachers than it is between you and other students you move as fast or as slow as you want you learn as fast or as slow as you want you can hop off the path and go do your own thing you don't have to stay here I mean if you want that kind of structure I can pass around a wicker basket you everyone leave your address in the comments and I'll send you an, uh, uh, a self self addressed stamped envelope and you just put some money in it and send it back <laughs> Uh, but what you don't understand is there's a reason why there's no structure because I'm not after your money because I'm not out to control you what I want you to do is if you do learn something new from me test it out try it out first don't just say I got the wisdom ah, no try it out test it out because my method might not work for you and I understand that walking into each episode that my method might not work for you the the uh, experience I'm trying to convey might not be something you've ever been through so you won't be able to relate or maybe you can relate perfectly so the methods I've conveyed work perfectly for you I'm okay with either way I'm okay that you come up and you come over here with a different technique and you put it in the comments or you make a video response and somebody else watches that or sees your comment and says you know what this guy over here helped me a little bit more than you did by all means you can either watch us both or you can go over there because he seems to be more beneficial to your path it's not a competition because technically I still got you what you needed because if he hadn't left that comment on my video, you wouldn't have known he existed. <laughs> and that's all I really want, more than anything, is to be helpful. And I can't be helpful if I'm competing. Because then I'm trying to be bigger and better and flashier and blah, 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 blah. Crappy production quality, crappy camera, crappy editing software. I got, you see, I don't have a, I don't even have a mic. This is a gaming headset. <laughs> and I unplug the headset part and just keep the mic plugged in. Because if I plug in the headset, then I hear myself talk and I can't hear how loud I'm actually talking. And then the, the voice levels will be, yeah, way too loud. And I still, I have to control my voice and talk softly. You see how far away the mic is from my mouth. And I have to talk really super controlled or else it gets super duper loud. <laughs> <clears throat> and I have absolute, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely no, what's the word I'm looking for? There is no, there are no plans in my near future to go out and buy new equipment to make better videos. None. 
at all. Now, like I said, if I start getting more views, and I don't mean just a couple more views, I mean a substantial amount of views, I will monetize. And you guys will know the day I monetize because that video will be fucking fantastic. Superb quality. There'll be no headset. <laughs> the lighting will be perfect. The sound, everything, I'll have the levels under control. <laughs> and you'll be like, oh, he's monetizing. <laughs> because then I'm selling a product. Because I want, I need you to come. Because I need your patronage to, to, to eat. At that point, yeah. Then I'm going to be giving you a product that you can say, huh, I'm actually getting something other than just information. Right now, for free, you can get my smiling face, my awesome voice, and a little bit of info. And not always in that order. Try getting that from one of the other teachers. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> uh, not a competition. Monetizing the videos almost forces your hand into making it into a competition. Because if I can steal views from that guy, more power to me. More money to me. But when it's free and you don't monetize, it don't matter. I don't have, I have seven subscribers. As of the making of this video, I have seven subscribers. And like, I want to say 244 views. And this is episode 39. So I'm not doing all that hot as it concerns monetization and views and competition. But the fact that the people that have subscribed have told me that I, what I say, the things I convey to them are helpful and useful, that tells me that mission accomplished. And as I am only one person, I only have to help one other person. And I'm helping seven. <laughs> and to be perfectly honest, I'm just pleased as fucking punch that I'm not the only one watching my videos <laughs> that is a fact <laughs> a fact <clears throat> but hey if you want to be in competition with me you're gonna be very very disappointed not because I know I'm going to win <laughs> But because you're going to start running, and I'm just going to sit there at the starting line. And I'm going to smoke me a cigarette. And don't get it twisted. I'm not, not running because I smoke and can't. <laughs> I'm not running because it's unnecessary. The starting line is the finish line. It's not a competition. You go ahead and run around the track. You're going to get right back to this point, but you're going to be all sweaty and tired. And I'll be smoking a cigarette. What did that do for you? I got a few more views. Good on ya. I got the same seven dudes. <laughs> like I said, one other person watching my videos and I'm pleased as punch. Somebody else thinks it's cool too. <laughs> I am so okay with that. You just don't know. And I don't know. It's just, it's fascinating the way this all works. Because you got to be all cutthroat about it if you want to make money. <laughs> and I refuse. I refuse. I won't promote the videos. I won't pay to promote these videos. <coughs> Because eventually, someone, like I said, someone other than me will see the video. And then word of mouth should work from there. Should work from there. 
someone will say, you know, you've got these weird questions, and I, I got, I've been watching these videos of this, this, this weird dude, and he's really weird, but he has this really nice voice. <laughs> you should check him out. Cool. No commercials. Think about that. You don't have to worry about watching commercials. I don't have to hold back my content. I can fucking swear if I want to. <laughs> I have complete creative control over this thing. What's funny is if I was suddenly sponsored, I'd have all kinds of equipment. And you'd never hear me cuss again. Because I'm spiritual. And now I'm in the spiritual competition. And you know what? I'd go get one of those... Uh, NASCAR racing suits and have whoever sponsored me on it like politicians should wear ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah it's just it's not a competition it makes me feel dirty to think of it that way when someone says oh yeah well so and so I give two shakes about so and so he can levitate good on him Good on him. You can't levitate. I never claimed I could levitate. I never claimed I was ever trying to levitate. That's not to say I'm not trying to levitate. I'm just saying I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's not a competition. Well, so-and-so reaches the heavens. How do you know I don't? It's only been 39 videos, and I'm trying to... Start out slow. Baby steps. I haven't gotten into the parlor tricks yet. <laughs> and I'm trying to actually avoid the parlor tricks. And I'll probably teach the energy work surrounding the parlor tricks, but I won't out and say, and this is the party trick that comes with it. Because <laughs> that's really, that's all it is, is a party trick. There was a proverb, and I can't remember exactly how it goes, but there's these monks, and they're supposed to be meditating, trying to find enlightenment. But one of them, instead of meditating to try and find enlightenment, he learns how to levitate across the stream. And he's so excited, he runs to his master and says, look what I can do. I've learned to, to, to levitate across the stream. And he levitates across the stream. And the master says, that's pretty cool. But right over there is a bridge and you could have walked across. <laughs> And that's how I viewed that. <laughs> Levitating would be cool, but I can walk. <laughs> <laughs> Not in competition. You can levitate, do your tricks, whatever. Like I said, when I teach that those particular energy, uh, those particular energy forms, when I te when I start teaching those, and I will, once we get through baby steps. Crawl, walk, run, levitate. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I'm kidding. I can't levitate. If we're lucky, by the time we get there, I'll be able to. And then I'll be too busy levitating to make videos. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, I kid. Anyway. <clears throat> but yes, the, the more advanced stuff is coming later. Because I'm trying to attract people new to the path. And people new to the path don't need advanced studies, advanced courses. You don't start a child off in college. Oh, welcome to MIT, Timmy. What's two plus two? Duh, I don't know. No, you don't do that. You say, here's two plus two. Here's two times two. Here's two divided by two. And so on and so forth. And then you say, this is the energy of two. And this is how you use two properly. Until that point, until I feel like I have reached that point in my recollection of my path and my journey, then we're not going to be doing any of that. Because throwing the energy work into the mix has a tendency to confuse people. Because they think they're, they're trying to, to manage the energy and blah, 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 blah. Some of these techniques come with their own energy techniques and come with their own 
forms of controlling certain types of energy. So it's kind of not even, I don't even have to say anything until later. Because then I'll draw attention to it and you'll be like, oh, I've already been doing it. And I just didn't realize it. So when we get to that point, we'll get to that point. But because just because you're already teaching it, I'm not going to get jealous because I'm not teaching it yet doesn't mean I don't know how to do these things. I've only scratched the surface of the abilities I've had. I have talked about it maybe a couple of times. But it gets a lot better than that. <laughs> Depending on your definition of better. Because they say, people say, gifts. And I say, gifts can be returned. These are abilities. <laughs> So, that's how I feel about the spiritual competition. There shouldn't be one. No matter how much money you plan on making with your channel, no, much how, no matter how much money the teacher you follow plans on making with their channel, don't be tricked into thinking they are the only source of information. There are wellsprings everywhere, and I'm just one of them. Of course, the water tastes better here. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I make me laugh. <laughs> no competition. Pretty much, honestly, the, all the water tastes the same. People teach from a different place. I teach from a point of shadow, not a point of light, because I can only teach from where I'm at, or where I've been. That's not to say that I don't surround myself with light, that's just to say that the bulk of my journey was in the shadow. So when I speak, I speak to you from those positions. It might shock you to know that I used to be a criminal. <laughs> Indeed. <clears throat> but again, your judgment is irrelevant because I'm not in competition with anyone. And as long as one other person watches these videos, I win. I've only got to help one other person. And you don't even have to see it my way. I've only got to open the door to the possibility that these ideas are possible. The rest is up to you. I just convey to you that I could get it to work. And not because I could get it to work, but because I could get it to work. And if I can get it to work, anybody can get it to work. <laughs> <coughs> so have your competition. I'm just fine not being famous and not being important. You all are equally as important as I am. And I'm trying to help you realize that. Stand and walk next to me. If you put me on a pedestal, like I said, I'll put you on a pedestal just so you can stand level with me. Or I'll hop down off the pedestal so we're standing level. No hero worship. I won't let you fall into that trap. But uh, we're getting on past the 30 minute mark. And uh, I really, really like this video. And I could have kept going, but it would have been mostly jokes. <laughs> but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't appropriate to keep going. So we're going to call it right now. Anyway. If you have enjoyed this video, please, by all means, click the like button. You can also favor the video if you want. You can leave comments down below or a video response or both. It's supposed to be a discussion. I want to know how you feel, what you're thinking, your views on the subject. And uh, if you learned something, I mean, really took something away from this, and you would like to keep coming back and getting more information. Or you just like the sound of my voice. <laughs> Go ahead and click the subscribe button.
But until next time, you hang in there.